Good morning, students. Uh, I'm happy to welcome you to this, our class uh, of Concrete Technology 2. So today we want to talk about the pre-stressed concrete. Uh, where under the pre-stressed concrete, again, we have to talk about the post-tensioning, the pre-tensioning, and again, we have to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of pre-stressed concrete. So the first definitions of the pre-stressed concrete can say, this is a structural, this is a structural material, this is a structural material that allows, that allows predetermined, that allows predetermined to determine engineering stresses predetermined engineering stresses to be placed to be placed in members to be placed in members in order to counteract in order to counteract uh, loadings that are subjected that are subjected oh, to this structural to these structural members to these structural uh, members to this structural member then we can talk about terms materials used in pre-stressing materials used in pre-stressing one can have the steel you can have steel you can have uh, the wires and it is it's going to use those two materials in uh, pre-stressing then again, we can talk about what is called pre-tensioning. Then we can talk about pre-tensioning. So pre-tensioning. Pre-tensioning. See, this process involves, this process involves the stressing of concrete, the stressing, the stressing of wires, or cables, or stressing of wires or cables, by anchoring them, by anchoring them, anchoring them, at the end, at the end of the metal form, at the end of the metal form, which may be up to, or which may be up to 120 meters of length, 120 meters of length. Then we can talk about post tensioning. Then we can talk about post tensioning. Post tensioning. And say this is the reverse method of pre tensioning. This is the reverse, reverse method of post tensioning of post tensioning yeah. where whereby or concrete member whereby concrete member 
square by from crypt remember is cast concrete member is cast and the pre-stressing and the pre-stressing and the pre-stressing occurs and the pre-stressing will occur after the concrete has hardened will occur after uh, the concrete has hardened after the concrete has hardened then you can talk about uh, advantages of pre-stressed concrete advantages of pre-stressed pre stressed concrete since uh, this concrete we have introduced uh, tendons it means they have more strength than an pre-stressed concrete so one say they have high degree they have high degree of workmanship high degree high degree of workmanship yeah. high degree of workmanship and control uh, and control high degree of workmanship and control say they have higher strength they have higher strength they have higher strength uh, than an pre-stressed concrete than pre-stressed and pre-stressed of members than an pre-stressed concrete member concrete member Then we can say uh, that uh, tension cracks, tension cracks are limited to these uh, concrete members, to these concrete members. Uh, then we can say they have high degree of shear stress. You say shear stress, shear stresses are reduced. Shear stresses are reduced. Then now we talk about their disadvantages. concrete you can say they require special attention they require special attention you can say they are time consuming time consuming They are more costly. They are more costly since tendon cost tendon cost must be incurred or must be incurred. Like if you want to introduce like the, the, the steel, you have to buy these steels uh, again so that you can introduce into this uh, structure. But if you don't want to process this concrete, assume you only want to cast them or the pure concrete, then it means their cost will be slightly low. And again, you can say 
Oh, they may incur if no, if not properly, if not properly, uh, mixed and designed. then they may fail, they may fail. Then again, what are the another disadvantage of this concrete? Say, uh, the repairs, their repairs is very uh, expensive. They say, Ma repairs and maintenance and maintenance of this Structures are very expensive. Assume if there's an, a wire that you wanted that was inserted into this wall, then there is a, a repair that we need or adjustment we want to do to this wall. That means the demolitions of that such structure is very expensive and may incur, may involve uh, the client or the contractor high cost in due to machines that he or she maybe or uh, maybe required to or uh, to use in such demolitions uh, from this class from that place we'll mark the end of our lesson let's meet in the next class as we start talking about uh concreting uh in adverse weather condition thank you